Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ikea. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are definitely a real one, but you already knew that. So today's video is really exciting because I don't think I've actually done a review on this fragrance brand ever, but I actually got my hands on the brand new fragrance from Billie Eilish Fragrances. This is Eilish number two. And I wanted to share my thoughts on the fragrance. Um, I've actually been playing around with it for a few hours now. And I really was just so excited that I wanted to just like film this video for y'all as soon as I got it. So it's not really a first impressions because I kind of already sniffed it and I've been it's been on my skin for a while. But I wanted to still give y'all the tea on the brand new Eilish number two. So if that's something that you're interested in, then keep on watching. And before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, of course. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click on that notification bell so you don't miss out on a single video. And let's get into it. All right, y'all. I got my hands on Billie Eilish's second launch, which is Eilish number two. I actually got this today. I got it earlier this morning, and I cannot wait to share my thoughts. I wanted to show y'all the box. It actually looks exactly like the box from the OG, and I want to share the actual bottle with you all as well. So this is the new bottle and the packaging of the new fragrance. It is shaped exactly as the OG fragrance, but you can tell that this is more of a metallic, silver, grayish, gunmetal vibe. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a work of art, and I love the packaging. Y'all, so when I heard that Billie Eilish was coming out with a new fragrance, I was super excited because I love the original Eilish. I don't think I've shared a review of that fragrance on this channel. I feel like I have mentioned it though, and I absolutely love it. It's sweet, it's sugary, it's even like a little bit citrus to me, but it's absolutely beautiful. I wear it all the time. I reach for it like almost every week. It's just one of those fragrances that I pull out and wear pretty often. So when I found out that she was coming out with a new fragrance, I was like, yes, give it to me. I need it. I need it and I need it now. So this new fragrance is supposed to be like more sensual, more like sultry. It's supposed to give like metallic vibes. It's even supposed to be reminiscent of water. I've heard so many different things. People were saying this was supposed to smell like pine trees and Christmas and all the things. It's supposed to be like the more sensual, sexy sister to the original Eilish. So I'm gonna just spray this on my skin, y'all, and tell you my thoughts of the fragrance. I don't know where that sound just came from, but y'all, let me tell you this. Initially, when I sprayed this fragrance this morning, I was like, what in the pine tree is going on? <laughs> What's going on? I was taken aback. I was a little confused. I was like, what is going on with this fragrance? But as it kept sitting on my skin and it just kind of like balanced with my chemistry, I just kept sniffing my arm like, ooh, that smelled good. I think this fragrance smells so, so good. Again, when I initially sprayed it in the opening, I really was like, this is giving me pine trees, okay? It is woody. It is like spicy. It's a little sweet, but it's not really sweet. And it's more powdery on me. So I believe in this fragrance, there's apple blossom. There's also bergamot in here. There's some ebony. There's black pepper in this fragrance. There's also Palo Santo in this fragrance. And then I also think there's like a skin musk in here as well. And in the opening, I definitely am getting that apple blossom, bergamot. It's kind of sweet, but the woody notes of the Palo Santo definitely stand out throughout the life of this fragrance. I'm gonna be quite honest. It's a woody, spicy, powdery fragrance to me. It's sweet, but like not overly sweet. It's not like that sugary vanilla scent that we kind of get in the original. 
this is very sultry. It's very, very sexy. And honestly, I love this fragrance. I think for me, the woodiness is there, but it's not like rough, outdoorsy, like you're running through a bunch of trees. Like it's woody, but it's kind of even like creamy and powdery. I'm really getting a powdery note and I'm not really sure where that is coming from, but the woody note smells amazing. Now on my skin, I get some citrus and Palo Santo is kind of one of those notes where it's woody, but it does also give off citrus vibes. So that's what I'm getting on my skin is a little bit of citrus as this dries down. But to me, when this dries down completely, it becomes this beautiful, powdery, green, woody fragrance that's spicy as well. The black pepper in this fragrance, it's not giving like... um What's that uh, fragrance that I hate? Uh, Dior Sauvage. I know I'm like throwing shade to Dior Sauvage right now, but it's not giving like that thick black powder or cologne vibe. It's in there and it's adding a nice peppery touch, but it's really, really beautiful. I would say that this fragrance is unisex though. Compared to the OG, that one to me leaned a little bit more feminine. This one is actually very unisex. I feel like it's right in the middle. It doesn't lean either feminine or masculine. It's absolutely beautiful. And again, if you like woody fragrances and you like fragrances that aren't like super heavy on the florals, super heavy on like the sugary sweetness, then I definitely think that this is a great option. Now, when I smelled this and the more I keep smelling it, I was like, this smell like something in my collection. I don't know what it is, but it smell like something in my collection. And I kept sniffing my arm earlier when I first got it because I was trying to figure out what it smelled like. And I finally figured out what it was. I had to look through my collection to figure it out. But to me, this actually reminds me of Luby Crown from Christian Louboutin. If you smell that fragrance, then you also know that that's a woody, spicy fragrance that's even powdery once it dries down. Now, Luby Crown is very, very expensive. So if you like that fragrance, but you didn't want to spend any coins on it, this is a great option. I actually prefer uh, Eilish over Luby Crown because it has like this still sweet touch to it that I think is really beautiful. So even though Luby Crown is a Christian Louboutin fragrance, I actually prefer this one over Luby Crown. It just smells so, so good. I honestly... I'm really surprised with this fragrance. Like, I'm actually really surprised with the Eilish fragrances. Like, for this to be a celebrity um, fragrance brand, this is giving me niche. This fragrance is giving me niche. It's absolutely beautiful. It doesn't remind me of a bunch of designer fragrances that you would go and Ulta and smell. It's got this nice, unique touch to it. And honestly, I think it is absolutely beautiful. Now, I only have been wearing this for about seven, probably even eight hours at this point, even though I just sprayed my arm again. I will say that the longevity though is pretty, pretty good. I've had this on my skin, like I said, almost eight hours and I can still smell that woody powderiness of the fragrance. It's still pretty prominent. So I would say that this actually lasts a pretty long time. I haven't really worn it out just yet, but I did let my sister smell it. And she was like, it smells good, but it's kind of reminding me of baby powder. I think it is powdery, but I think it does smell really, really good. So if you like that woody powdery, then I would recommend this fragrance to you. Um, would I recommend this as a blind buy worthy scent? I'll be quite honest, I probably would not recommend this as a blind buy worthy scent only because it's pretty unique. It has so many different layers to it. The opening, the mid, and the dry down to me are very different. So I probably wouldn't recommend this as a blind buy worthy scent. I think you definitely need to get your nose on it. You need to like test it out and date it a little bit. See how it works in different environments. See how it works um, with your skin chemistry and even just like in di different atmospheres. So I would say 
try to get a sample or test it out in the store I wouldn't recommend this as a blind by worthy scent it is absolutely beautiful though as I mentioned before now it is currently available on the Billie Eilish fragrances website I don't think it's available at at Ulta just yet but I will definitely update y'all in the description box and put the link for Ulta when it is available but I'll still have the link for the Billie Eilish website as well um, so that you can check it out. Now I know a couple of y'all are probably wondering how does this fragrance compare to the OG? So I actually have the OG right here. To me, I would say that these are very different. They don't even share the same DNA to me if I'm being quite honest. I know it was kind of promoted as like this one's supposed to be like this more sultry, metallic, sensual version compared to the OG. To me, they're very different fragrances and I would just say that this one is more woody and more powdery more spicy the OG again is more sweet vanilla sugary and if I had to choose one if I had to choose one although this fragrance is absolutely beautiful I still would choose the OG the original Eilish over this new one Again, I enjoy them both and I will wear both of them. I'll probably layer both of them, but I do still prefer the original over this new scent. I feel like this one is just for a specific um, fragrance lover. I don't think that this one is necessarily great for the masses. Personally, I do think that this one just has more of a unique touch to it and more unique vibe. So if you're looking for something to kind of stand out, then yeah, this one is perfect however i still just love the og it's just sweet and sugary and it gives me all the feels okay this one still still smells amazing though and i really cannot wait to wear it i do feel like this fragrance did come out at the perfect time this is perfect to me for the fall and winter time for cooler weather I also feel like this is going to be a great nighttime fragrance. It's really going to shine at nighttime. So I can't wait to wear this as maybe like a date night scent because it is very sensual and very sexy. But yeah, I'm a fan of this fragrance. Great job, Eilish Fragrances. I feel like y'all have done your thing again. And I feel like we need to just keep looking out for more Billie Eilish fragrances. I love me some Ariana Grande and I feel like as a celebrity perfume, Ariana Grande, her fragrances are so, so good, but Billie Eilish, she right up there, okay? Her fragrances are amazing, and they smell so, so great. Um, so again, I'm a huge fan of Eilish number two. I like this fragrance. I enjoy it. It has this really nice, unique touch to it that I really can't get enough of, and if it's promoted to be more sensual and sultry and seductive, it's doing just that. Now, people were saying it's supposed to smell like pine trees and Christmas, and honestly, this gives off Christmas vibes to me. I'll probably be wearing this on Christmas because that's what it's giving me. It's giving me all the holiday feels. So if you like that warm, woody, spicy, woodsy, I don't know, kind of vibe, then I definitely recommend Eilish number two. So again, shout out to Eilish Fragrances. Y'all did your thing with this fragrance. I truly, truly enjoy this and I can't wait to see what else they come out with. So those were my thoughts on the brand new fragrance from Billie Eilish, which is Eilish number two. Comment down below, have you actually smelled the scent yet? Let me know what your thoughts are if you smelled it. And also let me know if you're interested in getting the fragrance. I know it just recently launched and it will be launching in Ulta very, very soon. So let me know if this is a fragrance that you kind of have your eye on and you've been curious about as well. But I thank y'all so, so much for watching this video. Again, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, of course, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to check me out on social media as well because I share pretty consistently on my Instagram, Twitter, my Facebook, my TikTok, and on my Pinterest. So I will have all of my social media handles linked down below so y'all can check those out as well. But I thank y'all so much. I hope y'all have a great holiday. I hope you stay safe and I will talk to you later. Bye.